Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and first of all, Coral Island's summer update is officially live. If you're curious about what's new in version 0.4, I will link my video that covers most of the features in the description, which should get you up to speed. But in today's video, I will be sharing five more new features that were not included in the official change list. I hope you all enjoy playing the update, and without any further ado, let's get right into it. First, the ocean has undergone some exciting changes, specifically in terms of how your efforts to restore it will impact other activities. As you clear trash and heal the coral, you will be able to catch higher quality fish much more easily. It's so exciting to see that this planned feature is finally being implemented. So catching the silver and up qualities of fish for the temple offerings will be much more feasible as long as you're helping to heal the ocean. In my first attempt at fishing since the update, I caught a bronze fish, a silver fish, and a coffer in my first three casts. But if you're still struggling with critter catching, don't worry, because you can now purchase the master fishing pole and master bug net at the beach shack. These tools will definitely help you successfully catch those legendary and rare critters, so be sure to save up your money if this is a priority for you, because they are certainly not cheap. And speaking of money, to earn substantial daily income, some of you may have noticed that you're running out of space to ship your goods. But your days of struggling are over. In this update, the shipping bins on our farm have been expanded to now sell up to 40 slots worth of items every single day. You should be able to ship more and earn more, all from the comfort of your farm. But if you're still running out of shipping space and have tons of items to sell, you can still visit shops around town to sell relevant items. Which leads us to our next new feature, which is that you can now sell both artifacts and fossils to Rati at the black market. Of course, only sell these types of items if you've already donated everything new to the museum, and also keep in mind that artifacts and fossils, along with gems, can be used for enchanting your tools. But if you still have extra and would like to earn money immediately, perhaps in order to buy a rare item that Rati has available that day, you can now do just that. And finally on today's list, you will actually now be given certain items as gifts in the mail once you've leveled up relevant skills to a certain degree. Two examples I've found so far are the fish pond and the insect house. So, if you haven't already received either of these items when you immediately start your game post-update, maybe consider working towards leveling up fishing and catching to unlock these free items before you spend the money and resources on getting them from the carpenters. A little honorable mention is that you can now also process amaranth in your mill, similar to sea salt, sugarcane, and wheat. So those were some new features in the Coral Island Summer Update that were not included in the change list, but I will be streaming the update for you all next week, and I'm willing to bet that there are even more new hidden features. So be sure to tune in, watch the replay, or perhaps I'll even make a follow-up video, depending on what we find. I am so excited for you all to play this amazing update, you're gonna have so much fun with it. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which feature I shared in today's video that you are most excited about and whether or not you're playing the summer update already. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Meredith, Formotus, Tansy, Cisco, Cheese, Divine Raven, Blossom, James, Paul, and Jack, my beautiful Sunstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support, which really helps to make all that I do on the channel possible. It means the world to me.